Okay, my Kayla crew, today I have a loft haul to share with you. Now, you all know how much I've been loving the loft lately. I have a ton of pieces from their current line in my closet right now, and we're about to add some more after today's haul. I made all of my purchases online with the exception of two pieces, which I picked up the last time I was down at the loft outlet. Now, that was about a month or so ago, so I'm not sure that I'll be able to find those two pieces to link below, but I will try and link everything else that I purchased online below. Now, now I'm a little behind on filming and that's because our poor Lexi has been having some medical issues. So you all know she had her ACL surgery and she seemed to be doing fine and she went for a regular checkup and they found that her kidney levels were a little bit high. So they suggested that we bring her to the emergency vet and when we brought her there, they wanted to admit her. And so they gave her fluids. Her kidney levels were getting better. And then they found that her blood pressure was just really low. And I couldn't figure out what was going on at first. So she was there for a few days. They did an ultrasound and they found out that Lexi has Addison's disease. And so basically her body just doesn't produce certain hormones. So luckily it's something that's treatable. She does have to be on medication every day. Um, but she had a little setback. So she seemed to be doing really fine with the medication. She was eating really well. She was back to her normal self. And we brought her in for a checkup because they wanted to see, you know, what her levels were like and how her body was adjusting. And she has an infection and it's so bad that they have to do surgery. So poor Lexi is back in the hospital. So yep, I will give you an update as soon as she's back home. So they're expecting that she'll be there for a couple of days. And so I'm hoping that she'll be back home really, really soon because, you know, it's hard not having her here. You know, get, you get so used to it they're a part of your family and you know hope's acting differently too so i'm really hoping that lexi is going to be back here soon so i am a little behind on filming on comments but i will catch up between lexi and work and life it's just been really crazy so i wanted to give you a little update all right now let's get into the try on and see how everything looks okay let's get started with this first top i was really drawn to the print of this top this is the Medallion Flutter Peplum Top. I did pick it up in my normal size extra large and I paid $26.89 for this top. This top is made of 100% rayon. You can machine wash this in cold water and it was made in the Philippines. I just love the medallion print. I think it's so pretty, it's so different. You know, I get a lot of floral prints and you know I love my animal prints. So I thought this would be a different print to add to my wardrobe. I think it looks nice with the white shorts that I have on. I just had these on in the intro and I thought, you know what? They actually look really nice with this top. I would wear it with this. You could wear it with navy, you could wear it with a pop of color like a red or a yellow. So I really think it's a pretty top. Let's talk through it. It's got a nice V neck and the medallions kind of go a different direction um, at the neckline, which I actually really like. I think it gives it some character and it's got that nice cute flutter sleeve. You guys know I love a good flutter sleeve or you know any kind of sleeve detail. And then the medallions, I think going down the different direction here kind of makes it look flattering. I think so. And it's got a little bit of a peplum. Now, I can't always wear a peplum top. Sometimes they don't do anything for me. This one, I don't think is too peplumy. I know that's not a word, but I'm gonna use it. Um, and I think it looks cute. What do you think? Yeah, I really like this one. Yeah, this one's gonna be a keeper. I think I'm gonna actually wear this today. It's a cloudy day. I think of what I'm gonna do today is run to the mall. I know, I probably don't need to do any more shopping, but I need to do a few things around the mall, like some errands. And so oh, there, why not pop in? All right, let me show you the back of it. Instead of, <laughs> let me not tell you about my whole day. Let me show you the back of this top so we can keep the try on moving. So it does have the V in the back too. So it's cute. First top is a win and 26 bucks is not a bad price for a top. I don't think so. All right, I'm going to change and I will be right back with the next piece. Okay, I couldn't help myself. I picked up a floral print top. This top is the Floral Flutter Sleeve V-neck top. This one you do have to order by size. Of course you have to order by size, by numerical size I meant to say. This I picked up in my normal size 16 and I paid $26.17 for this top. This top is 100% rayon and you can machine wash this in cold water. 
I forgot where this top was made. I want to say the Philippines, but I will scroll it across the screen. So isn't it cute? I want to come close so you could see. It's got that nice V-neck, which you guys know I love. It's my absolute favorite neckline if you haven't learned that by now. Um, I love the flutter sleeve. And if you're someone that doesn't like to show your upper arms, um, this one gives some good upper arm coverage, which I like. And while I'm close, you can get a good look at the print. I was a little bit nervous that this would look too much like a pajama, you know, top. I don't think that it does. What do you think? Um, it comes in a little bit at the waist and then comes out just a little bit. I don't think I'd call this a peplum top. Well, I guess it kind of has a little bit of a peplum look to it. I threw in some dark wash jeans because it didn't look right with the white shorts that I had on before. But yeah, I think it's cute. I was actually looking for a pair of purple denim. But you know what? I have not had good luck with finding colored denim at all. So I kind of gave up a little bit. And you know what? When you're not looking for something, you tend to come across it. So I'm just not looking right now. And maybe I'll stumble across a pair that works for me. Isn't that how it always works, right? All right, let me show you the back of this one. It does have a zipper up top here. I didn't have to use that to get this top on. So, but yeah, I think it's cute, isn't it? I like it. All right, let me change and I'll be right back with the next piece. I know, I know you're thinking, Kayla, what the heck are you doing buying a sweater in the middle of summer? I call this a summer sweater because it's 100% cotton, it's breathable. I own this in two other colors and I absolutely love them. I wear them a ton. Now I wear these in the evenings if it's gonna be a bit cooler and I'm gonna be outside or if I'm going down to the shore, which I hope to be doing soon, but I gotta make sure Lexi's okay first before I go anywhere, um, I would be packing something like this because on the cool evenings when you're by the water, you need some coverage and this is still nice and lightweight and breathable. And like I said, I have two other colors and they hold up really well. So this is machine washable on a gentle cycle, which I do. The other two that I own, I've thrown in one of my mesh laundry bags, which I got on Amazon. I think they were like 12 bucks for a pack of five or six. I will go ahead and link those below. They're totally worth it. I get a ton of use out of them. And oh, I lay them flat to dry. So a lot of my stuff I hang to dry, but this one I lay flat because, well, I haven't washed this one yet, but the other two that I own, I lay flat to dry just to help them keep their shape. And they've held up really well so far. I purchased them probably in, I think it was April. It was when I went on my shopping trip with Carolyn. That's when I purchased my first one. And yep, they've held up very well. So let's talk through this one. It's the same sweater as the other two, but it's been a while. Oh, with these sweaters, so I have one in an extra large, which is my normal size. And the other two, so the I think the green one that I purchased, or maybe it was the white one I sized down. And then this one I sized down to a large as well. And I think the large fits me really nicely. So now let's talk through this top. It's got a nice split V neck. And then it also has a drop shoulder, which you could see here. Isn't the color so, so pretty? It's got slits on both sides. Not too, um, you know, high of slits, but just a little bit of movement there. Yep, I think it's cute, isn't it? I love, love, love this color. And it looks pretty with the white shorts that I have on too. I would wear it like this on a cooler evening. All right, let me show you the back of this one. Or on like a cooler day. You know, sometimes, I live in New England and you never know what you're gonna get here for the weather in the summertime. A lot of times it's hot and it's humid. We have a lot of muggy days. But then here and there we'll get the cooler days. We haven't had many of those recently. Um, but if we have a cooler day, I mean, a nice breathable sweater like this would be perfect. All right, let's move on to the next piece. Okay, so this next piece is something that I picked up from the Loft Outlet in store. I paid $23 and some change for this top. I did stick to my normal size extra large, which was a good choice. This top is made of 100% cotton. It was made in India and you can machine wash this in cold water. Isn't the color really, really pretty? I love this color. You know, what was interesting to me is that when I looked at the receipt as I was getting ready to film this video to see what I paid for this top, this top was listed as loungewear. I personally am going to wear this top out. I mean, I guess you could have it as loungewear if you wanted to, but I'm gonna dress this up and wear this out. I'm gonna wear it to work. I think you can totally wear it out. Um, it's really super soft and comfortable. Let's talk through it. It's got a nice V neck. Nice flutter sleeve. Are we catching a theme with me? You know which necklines I like and which sleeves I like too. Um, you know what, while I'm close actually, maybe you could get a good look. There you go, you can get a good look at the texture of this top too. 
so yeah and this time you know what i thought with this one would be nice again i don't want to think about going into fall but we're going to get there at some point and this would be a nice color going into the fall too so yep yeah, i think it's cute let me show you the back of it I think it's just like a nice elevated t-shirt look. You know what I mean? So, yep, I'm happy with this one. Okay, I'll be right back with the next piece. Okay, I was so excited about this dress. I really wanted to wear it to work this upcoming week. Clearly, I'm not going to be able to do that because we've got some gaping going on. Unless I can go to my local store and exchange this for an extra large. I sized down to a large in this dress. I don't know what I was thinking. I must not have been thinking. You know what though? A lot of times I'll go on and I'll read reviews. And if the reviews suggest sizing down, I will. But I should have paid attention. Kayla, this dress is 100% cotton and there's buttons here. You have a larger bust. You need your normal size extra large. <laughs> so I don't know what, clearly I wasn't doing my research with this dress, but I thought, you know what? Let me show them because it's super cute and let's keep our fingers crossed that I can exchange this for my normal size extra large because I think it'll be okay when I do that. All right, let me tell you what this dress is. This is the striped eyelet button ruffle swing dress in large, yep, <laughs> I don't know. $47.35 was the price that I paid. This dress is 100% cotton. The lining is 100% cotton as well. I can't find the lining and I don't want to flash you. <laughs> and then the embroidery is 100% polyester. So let's talk through this dress. I'm going to block the gaping as I'm getting closer. Uh, it's got a nice V-neck. Again, flutter sleeve. But look at the cute embroidery, isn't it? And then we've got that ugly like, yeah. My normal size extra large should work better. Um, but you can see the embroidery. It's striped as well. Really, really super cute. So it's got the buttons going here, which I'll let you see a little bit. <laughs> and then um, there's also embroidery on the uh, hemline of this dress, which I think it's so, so cute. Love, love, love this dress. This dress hits me right above my knees and I'm 5'2". Um, let me show you the back of it. All right, I'm gonna get out of this dress since it doesn't fit me properly and I have another dress. This dress, you guys already saw during, I think, I can't remember, I wore it in, I think, a Dia & Co try-on? I don't remember, but you all love the dress, so I'm hoping I can find it online to link for you below. Let me try it on for you. Okay, so here's the other item that I picked up from the Loft Outlet. I'm really hoping that I'll be able to find this online to link below for you. I did stick with my normal size extra large in this dress, and I paid $48. This dress is made of 51% cotton, 45% polyester, and 4% spandex. You can machine wash this in cold water, and it was made in India. I love the color of this dress, nice and bright for summer. I've worn this, and I've washed this a couple of times, and it's come out perfectly in the washing machine, and it's really a nice dress. I've dressed this up with some wedge sandals, and I've also worn it more casually with flat sandals if I'm just running errands, and it's cute. So let me come close so we can talk through this dress. I love the nice neckline. It's a V, but it's almost got a little bit of like a rounded V to it here. While I'm close, you can look at the texture of this dress. So it's got stripes, but they're textured stripes. You know what I mean? They're not true like stripe. You know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> they're textured stripes. We're going to call them that. They've got a little bit of like the ruching at the sleeve. There you go. You can see that kind of comes up a little bit here. So nice upper arm coverage. And then right here, it's got the belt so you can tie it at the waistline. You could remove this too if you wanted to wear your own belt. But like I, I've said this before, I'm not a belt girl. So I just wear it with the fabric belt. Um, Yeah, it's cute. Hits me right, at, right kind of at my knees. So yeah, the only thing I wish this dress had pockets. But you know what? That's okay because this dress is super cute. Let me show you the back of it. Yep, so it's gotten a lot of wear already, so I'm happy with this. Okay, I'll be right back, and what do I have? Oh, I have a pair of shorts that didn't fit either, so let me grab those. We'll talk about them right now. They're right here. Hang on. Okay, so here are the shorts. I was really hopeful for these to work, but actually, they're kind of short, huh? <laughs> they have the frayed hemline. These, let's see, they're the cutoff short. They're a high rise, and I picked up size 33, which is a 16, and they were just, I couldn't button them up, so I'm like, yeah, let me just show them like this, but they do have your classic five-pocket style. 
Can you see that? I just really liked the stripes and I was hopeful for them with like a cute white tank or a cute white tee for a casual, you know, summer day. But yeah, they just didn't work out. But I will link them below in case you're interested. The stripes don't line up from the pockets to, you know, the short, but that's not a huge deal, right? I don't know. I didn't see them on. So I guess I'd have to see them on to see if that would drive me crazy or not. Okay, I'll be right back and we will do a quick recap. All right, so we've got some more loft pieces that are going up to my closet. Now, I did watch the footage back, and I wasn't crazy about how that white floral print top looked on me, the white top with the flutter sleeves and the purple floral print. I love the print, and I love the style of it, but I just didn't think it was flattering on me, so I decided to return that one. The striped shorts are going back because clearly they didn't fit, and then that embroidered um, striped dress, I'm really hoping they have it in my size, so so I can exchange that and hopefully share that with you in another loft haul because you know when I get on loft's website or go into the store and start returning and exchanging things I find new things to share with you it's a problem yep it's an endless cycle it is I just can't help myself I'm really loving the loft line lately so you're probably gonna see another haul soon thanks so much for watching and for spending some time with me today I truly appreciate it I hope you're all having a wonderful day I'll see you all really soon for another video before you go make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss out on my future videos I'll see you all really soon for some more clothing and fashion and an update on our sweet Lexi so please Please stay tuned.